Welcome back in time to talk science here on WTO 11, your day. And we'll do that with Jeff Stevenson from the Imagination Station. Jeff, you've teased me a little bit with this one. What are we going to be getting into today? We're going to be talking about tornadoes and we're going to be using. Yes. Yes. This there is in go. your wheelhouse, Chris. All right. right. Wheelhouse, my friend. Let's let, let's where do we get started with this? Well, well I'm going to start off with a little lighter fluid. OK, and we're going to try to make a tornado out of fire today. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put some lighter fluid over these cotton balls. And if you want to grab that lighter next okay. to you and go ahead and ignite it for me. I've got it put on a Lazy Susan here, so right. it, it spins. So if you wanna go ahead and give it a spin. All right. And as you can see, it looks nothing like a tornado, right? Not quite yet. It's just kind of a flame. That's kind of be like if you had a campfire or something like that. So this is kind of an ordinary flame. Go ahead and uh, kind of set you up there. So go ahead and stop spinning it. So I'll, I'll put this one out. And what I want you to do is go ahead and pour that liquid into my other bowl here. Okay. And yeah, just kind of sprinkle it around in there. Now, what I've done is I've put a very complicated piece of scientific equipment around this, a trash can. Oh, okay. right, of All course. Right. So, and what this trash can is going to do, instead of just spinning my flame, it's going to spin the air around my flame okay. as well. Okay. It's going to create some drag. And if one trash can is good, two trash cans is better, right? So All right. you want to grab that one and just sure. snap it on top? Uh, this way here? Yep. And it should just click right on. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ignite my flame through here. Yes, you did. Perfect. And go ahead and give that a good spin now. And what's happening is the trash can is oh, actually yeah. dragging the air around, creating a fire tornado. So this is pretty cool, right? I love this. Yeah. And you know, scientists and firefighters like to study this phenomenon because it happens in real firefight in real um, forest in, fires. In, in wildfires, it absolutely yeah. does. And so it's one thing to have a low bearing flame like we had originally, and it's one thing to have, you know, the winds carrying the flame up to the treetops and bouncing from tree to tree, and that's really how you can get some spread. So firefighters, scientists, they love studying this stuff to help, you know, prevent catastrophes. I love this. Now, normally, well, I got one I got one extra step here, Chris. Okay. Normally you can see these um whirl these fire whirls is what they call them happening with all the debris, smoke, soot. Right. Um, this is a very clean burning flame, so if you just want to keep spinning it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to put some debris in there and you'll be able to see that that motion a little bit better. Do you see the that like kind of whirl that's forming? All around. Minor it. suction vortices, maybe? Maybe, maybe. There we go. Chris, see, I, this, I, had, I knew you would be the experts. Little, I had to work a little of that in. <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to work something like that in. So, so yeah, the, these iron flakes are kind of a great way to show that whirling motion. You see uh -huh. it kind of shooting up? It does. As it goes there. And that wouldn't happen if we didn't have that air to drag all the way around it. Can we make a multi vortex tornado? A multi vortex tornado? I think you're going above my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I could do that with two trash cans <laughs> and a lazy Susan, but. <laughs> maybe a future. Maybe a future science experiment. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll consult you next time where uh, we're, we're trying to create some fire nados at Imagination Station. I like this. Yeah. Well, you guys are always busy with science at the Imagination Station. What's coming up with you guys? Um, well, like I told you last time, we this week is our nano days, right? So um, we're actually having kids remotely access a scanning electron microscope tomorrow. Okay. Um, and that's happening on Saturday. We got a couple workshops um, going on along with geckos that are coming in because they actually use nanotechnology to climb walls. Do they really? Yeah. Uh, come to Imagination Station and learn all about it. Never would have known that one. I'm just amused by. The, I know I could spin this all day. Couldn't by you? the by the fire nato that we have here we have in the get, studio. We have to get one of these for your office. Just kind of have it going all the time. <laughs> <laughs> My arm eventually would grow a little tired. A little of this. bit. Yeah. All right. Very cool, Jeff. Thank you so much for this illuminating experience. Love that.